I think the research out in the last number of years is sort of irrefutable that more diverse teams, more diverse perspectives leads to two things, better innovation and better financial outcomes. And gender and female is a big part of that. An interesting thing is that I never aspired to or thought I would be a, a CEO. I started at Wellington over 30 years ago as an administrative assistant. Wellington has an amazing culture, but there weren't as many women for role models for me. I do think having more role models in the industry will be really important. I would like to see more team leaders that are female. I would like to see more portfolio managers across all our capabilities. Now that would be a great outcome. I feel very fortunate to have opportunities that have allowed me over time to, to continue to add to my toolkit that I think prepared me to be CEO. I hope that's a path that others can follow in the industry as well as within Wellington. All of those experiences have prepared me for this period and I'm just very fortunate to have been giving opportunities along the way. I would say it's in our DNA as Wellington to really provide equal opportunities for everybody. And we've been doing that for years. Supporting different organizations really also helps breaking the bias. In Germany, we have worked with the CFA Institute on Girls Day where we supported girls at the age of 8 till 12 and encouraged them to spend a day in a typical profession that's more men-oriented. We also work with 100 Women in Finance. Actually, we were one of the founding partners for the German location. It really broadened my horizon about the female talent that's available in the industry. Female representation is important to me because I've had so many experiences where there was a lot of mentoring available. There was not really any sponsorship. And I really want the next generation of female leaders to have an easier entry, an easier start, and a more natural career progression than I would have had. At Wellington, we're a large active manager, and we see engagement as one of our key competitive advantages. Through our size and access to boards and management teams, we have the opportunity to influence positive outcomes for our clients. And that is the starting point for our engagement on gender equity. About five years ago, we started really focusing on gender diversity in the boardroom. We sent a letter to US companies that had no women on the board, and we asked to engage with them to really understand why that was the case. Subsequently, we've used our vote to vote against boards where they still lag and have not made progress. And this year we're raising the bar even further, where we're looking for substantive gender diversity within the boardroom, not only in the US, but across global markets. We've also engaged with policymakers. And last year, we sent a public letter to the US Securities and Exchange Commission in support of NASDAQ's proposal to include diversity disclosure in their listing requirements and for companies to include at least two diverse directors on their boards. We've been pleased to see the results of that engagement activity translate into real-world outcomes and improve diversity at the board level. Now we want to see companies really build on that success. If you express interest, there are opportunities that you can take hold of at Wellington. In my case, I've really benefited from the ability to move globally, and then I've also had the ability to rotate within different functions. There was a young lady who joined my function at that time. And as I was moving into a new role, I had the ability to say she would be perfect for this particular role. And she took it and she ran with it. And the results were amazing. Just seeing the success that she had and um, being able to sort of be there at the beginning and then watch her grow was really rewarding for me. A world with our gender biases where we see people for everything that they are and connecting on that basis and matching them up to passions and where they want to go. I think it'll be a much better world where everyone's thriving.